All right, here we are at the end of uh, Lincoln Court, which is where the most serious effects are. Looks like they're doing a lot of stuff in real time here, and I guarantee they're gonna change around the pump things. Either people who saw me messing with them, me yelling, or whatever. I mean, no one came over last night, nothing, you know, when you, it's funny, you're right in the middle of South Beach, you, you, when you want attention, you don't get it. You're trying to hide around here, good luck with that, but it is just fucking blazing fucking hot out. Generally low pressure, easterly winds, so this, you know, we could have some, some tides that are pretty high in the next couple of days, even though the, the last two tides were under underperforming. Let's take a look at what they got going on here. Nope. Oh, there's my camera strap still holding the thing on. And there's that one still tied too tight. We'll look at what the levels are here at low tide. Oh, they just put a lot of asphalt down. That looks like a pretty rough patch of asphalt. You know, it leaks really bad between those two old pieces of seawall there. This asphalt is gonna only gonna dubiously help. Um, so there's, there's that thing, you know. Holy shit. It's like an illusion. It looks like that pipe is lowering into the water, that hose, but it's just the way the ripples are coming down. It looks like it's, that hose looks like it's flying down into the water, but it's not, it's just the illusion. So you can see these pumps are working right now at low tide still, so there's still water in the sewers at low tide. I mean, we're getting to the peak of the low tide right now. You know, two to three feet, I would say, lower than what the high tide is gonna be in, you know, six, seven, eight hours here. And there's still water in the sewers, and you know, here you got the Mickey Mouse construction crews and some asphalt that looks worse than a driveway in Pinecrest. Uh, I mean, I don't know what the point of that is. I don't know if they're literally trying to hold water back with that. I mean, asphalt, just like concrete, it's not officially waterproof. And plus, that's really a rough patchwork, the way it meets up with everything. And I think the, the major leak in the seawall here that's visible anyway are these cracks here and the crack between those two pieces. Uh, I don't know if this asphalt's really going to do anything. They probably just want a, something hard to stand on because this is all dirt and plants and it was getting fucked up and killed by the salt anyway, literally, you know, salting the earth. So there's no point in having plant scape there. So it's just, you know, let's just pave over, make another Walmart parking lot. I think it doesn't matter because there's no rain drainage anyway at high tides. So there's no point in having ground to soak up water. It's just, it's, it's not going to gain anything. It looks like they haven't changed the pipes here. They, they at least did the one fixed pipe over on uh, Bay Road, but here it's still my camera strap and that, you know, stupid, you know, poly, polyester rope right there tying that thing. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it does here in the six hours. But oh, the tide water is slowing down. So this is the lowest of low tide here right now. So from here on out, it's rising, you know, three feet until 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight when it should crest. And uh, if it crests higher than the other tides, it might start breaching seawalls. I have a feeling it won't. I have a feeling we had an early, early climax, so to speak, on the tidal flooding. One, because the garage got flooded before they had the pumps. And then two, the other day we had a four foot high tide that didn't do as much damage here because they had the mobile pumps. And, and then since then they've been lowered, even though it's supposed to get higher because they're, they're only, the last tide only exceeded expectations by about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 feet, where the, the four foot tide was exceeding by 1.2 feet or so. So that's the difference it makes. But they're still steadily exceeding though. We still have east wind and low pressure and, and we definitely have a rainy atmosphere today. So we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see what happens.